issue number, direction number two, representation of the IABC. After the various petitions were filed and served on the IABC, and the chairman of the IABC, Wafula Chebukati, appointed counsel to represent him. The law firm, the firm of ISA and Company Advocates lodged a notice of appointment of advocates that is dated the 26th August 2022, purporting to act for the IABC. At the pre-trial conference this morning, the issue of the legal representation arose. The IABC, through the firm of Iseme Maema and Kamau Advocates, filed an application on the 29th of August 2022, seeking to strike out the notice of appointment and all pleadings by ISA and company advocates. The motion was supported by an affidavit filed and deponed to by Marjan Hussein Marjan, the Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of the IABC. We have now been called upon to give directions and to resolve the question of legal representation of the IABC. We have considered the pleadings, the record and the brief statements by counsel. It's our considered view that this court cannot deal with the issue or any dispute as to the legal representation of the IABC as an institution in this petitions. It is not the business of the court to determine who represents the IABC in whichever formation. There is an internal issue which must be resolved by the IABC, its commissioners and other internal organs. This court will not be drawn into this dispute in these circumstances. As a result, the application to strike out the notice of appointment and pleadings um, ignore what I've just read. We've considered these arguments and as a result, we allow the application dated the 29th August 2022. That is to say, the notice of appointment filed by ISA and company advocates is struck out. The four commissioners are at liberty to deploy and utilize the services of Senior Counsel Paul Muite and Isa Mansur Advocate if they deem it necessary in these proceedings.